Inserting a picture into your Word documents is a very simple procedure, and it all starts with the selection of an insertion point in your document, and then using the Insert tab in your ribbon. And then you have a section here of illustrations, and you can add, as you may have seen uh, in other modules, you can add charts, and we'll talk about smart art, shapes, clip art, but we can add a picture by clicking on the big picture button here in the illustrations grouping. And once you do, you will get a dialog box that's just a Windows Explorer dialog box, and then you can browse around your computer to find either some sample pictures that have been included with Windows Vista in this case, select a toucan, and then just insert it. So find what you're looking for. Maybe you've uh, imported some pictures from a digital camera or something, but wherever you go find it, that's fine. Uh, you can take any really anything, a bitmap, a JPEG, a, a GIF file, and then select it, and then insert it. And it will be inserted into your insertion point in the document. Also, immediately, your picture tools comes up. Picture tools is loaded into the ribbon, as you can see, and there's one tab that can help you arrange and format and modify the kind of picture, not the kind of picture, but the, how that picture looks in your document. So you can certainly change the contrast and again the live preview helps preview what the contrast is going to look like when I lighten the contrast here or I change the brightness or I recolor maybe I want to set it to a sepia tone there we go and then notice when I select the picture I have these handles around the sides of the picture so I can easily resize the picture if I want to just click and drag and the picture will be resized other things I can do with the picture include adding picture borders. I can change the picture shape so I can make it uh, a circular picture if I want to, an oval. I can change the picture border if I want to add a border to the picture. And there we go, there's our border. Once again, anytime you want to change these things, just click on the picture itself and you can decide what to do. So if you want to change how how heavy that border was, you could change it there. Probably the other thing that's important when you're dealing with a picture is setting your text wrapping options and your position options, and we'll actually tackle that in a separate module. So, as a last note here, if you want to resize the picture, again, I mentioned that you could just drag, click and drag on your picture handles here to do that task. Also, you could use this size button on the right-hand side of your format tab of your picture tools, and you could manually set the size, the height, and the width, and you could also click on the crop button to remove any unwanted parts. You get these crop handles that you can then use to click and drag, and you have more of a freeform cropping ability to do that to, once again, crop your picture. So, lots of things you can do with the picture, obviously, and... The ribbon makes it easy to kind of experiment around and change your styles, change your brightness, change the size, and make you a wizard at adding pictures.